said so hopefully it won't be flooded I've looked on the Google doing the Google and Google it and it's not coming up as it's flooded so hopefully we'll have a nice day out in Oakshead so we'll catch up with you later
we've arrived in Hawkstead. Now we're going to have a look round. Yeah. Hey, Sharon's, Sharon's pushing the eggs around. Which you've seen probably before. <laughs> Bexy dog. Bex, come on. Oh, and a Bailey dog. Plus, I know a Bailey dog is. A Bailey dog's coming to stay with us. It's a sheep. I know. <laughs> What's that you mean to see? It's, just, it's all shut up. It's like a little food shop. Um, and biscuits on it. Sharon thinks she's Trev from Poshcats. She's bought a hat. I think we've just been in there. Oh, food straight ahead by the looks of things. Drinks only. Oh. No, because it's no food. Uh, yeah, no food. It says drinks only. Well, it's a pharmacy. I'll go and get some uh, berry top. Another pub down there. Red lion. What? Oh, it's in the oh yeah. Good food, beers, lagers, bedrooms, bedrooms. Sounds like a bloody disco. What's that place, sir? Eh? So look like there's anybody in it. I think it's closed. Yeah, is it dog friendly? Take away only, I think. Think we're going out of it here? Oh, there's a quap there, see? Ha! Ah, what's that say? Food, beds, toys, treats. I oh, said, pet thing. It's got one of those things. This one. Dog squint thing. Uh, please use the front door. The King's Arms. Free house, local ales, good, bed and breakfast, good food. Village without food. In that shop because we're heading back towards car now. Mm. No. Fish and chips. Yeah, that shut as well. 
Well, I hope said was the let down. Nice little shops and things. And it's quite like a village, but there's three pubs and none of them are open. Oh, if they're open, they don't serve any food. It's a bit strange. And that leaves like three little tea shops that now you can't get in because everybody wants to get in and have the food. Three mile outside Oak said we've come across the pub that says it's serving food, it's dog friendly. So I'm going to go in and see. Oh yeah, the chefs look a bit bored. We're back from Oakstead, Oakstead, Oakstead even. Wasn't really, that was a nice little village. Nice, some nice shops and whatnot. 
the pubs don't sell food. Uh, due to various reasons, one of them used to, it does it anymore. And uh, another one did, but then it has the new manager, the new manager doesn't do food. So there's three pubs and none of them do food. They're all dog friendly, you can go in for a drink, but they don't do food. That leaves two tea shops, or three tea shops I think, that everybody's trying to get into. So you end up having to sit outside, which in November we weren't doing. So I set off back to Ambleside to get a drink at Ambleside, sorry, uh, some food at Ambleside. And on the way we come across the Outgate pub, which welcomes dogs, muddy boots, and we had a lovely meal in there. And uh, someone's having trouble with the coffee maker. So we had a lovely meal in there. The staff were really pleasant. Recommend you all in there whenever you're in the area. And now that brings us to the end of this video. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done already, it helps our channel grow and um, we would be very grateful for that. And uh, if you do subscribe, remember to hit the notification icon, that way you get notified when we put out the next video. So with that, all there is left to say is goodbye.